Hey everybody, it's Matt from You and Your Horror Movies, and welcome to day 19 of my 31 Days of Horror. Uh, today I'm bringing you a film, I think that was shot in 2012-13, but it got released in 2014. I think it was only on DVD for a while. And then not that long ago, it actually got a Blu-ray release by MVD. MVD, we put this out on blue, and we're talking about Feed the Gods. Uh, this does have a reversible cover art, so... You may see a little different cover art, but this is the other reverse. The one I remember, I think, was on the DVD, maybe. But pretty much what Feed the Gods is, um, starts off with this bunch of women by a road. Uh, there's a red line, and a hunter comes up, a hunter farmer with a shotgun, saying, I need to see your green card. And whatever you have, that's it. You can't cross without so, of course, a couple go through, and it comes with this one woman. She has two kids, a three-year-old and a baby, and she only has two green cards. And the, the farmer's like, sorry, only two, so one has to stay. It's either the two kids go, or you stay, vice versa. So one of the women who was already passed decides, give me the two green cards, I'll take care of your kids, you do what you need to do, because they all come from this weird small town. Um... Oh, shit, I already forgot the name of the town. And pretty much, they are leaving. So the the woman takes the kids, and they drive away. Well, the mom's crying, and she says, you know what? Starts putting her shit down. She walks across the red line, and all of a sudden, she kneels down, and the shadowy figure just hovers over her. Now we're brought into our time, about 20-something mm, years later. So now the kids are grown up. Uh, the woman that took them in has died due to a stroke. They're at a funeral, and now they're trying to figure out what they're going to do. Uh, one kid is now a lawyer, and the other guy, he's kind of like a but he's kind of cool. I like his character. Uh, he's a stoner. Um, does just, you know, normal medium-wage job. Doesn't really care. And he's always relying on his younger brother to help him through. Well, amongst going through her... Things, they find a, a VHS tape called Casablanca, not the movie. And they find out that they are actually from this town. They're like, well, that's mom and dad. So they've decided to actually work together, because they're always arguing, to go to this small town to find their original parents. And one's like, why? She dumped us. And then they kind of convince the other guy to go. So they all decide to truck down along with one of his girlfriends to this small town. And the town's very weird. Uh, it's a town in the middle of nowhere. No phone reception or anything like that. And while they're searching for their parents, there's weird things that happen. One is there's like a weird wooden figurine pretty much in everyone's home. Some doors are painted with a red slash. Um, the bed and breakfast that they're staying in, because there's no hotels, the bed and breakfast is like caged in around an electric fence. There's some warning signs on this, like, why is this happening? So pretty much now they're trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, they meet another tourist from Australia, and uh, they're trying to figure out, you know, how we can find their parents. Well, in the meantime, one of the townies, and a couple, actually a couple of the townies, get together and they kidnap certain people, and then they feed them to something in the woods. Well, it's a Bigfoot. You got just this is a pretty much a Bigfoot movie. And so pretty much the gist of it is they feed they're called the Bigfoots are considered the gods. Uh so it has to deal with a I think an old Indian folk tale where they were this Bigfoots were around killing the folks and killing the Indians. Well the white man comes in, you know, kills the Indians. Now they figure if they feed these Bigfoots, the gods, they'll get left alone. And, of course, we don't know exactly what the whole green card thing is. Like, if a certain amount of people are fed to them, you're allowed to leave. They don't really get into that part. But some of the townies, you know, capture the brothers and the girlfriend. And they realize we got to uh, sacrifice them. <laughs> That's pretty much. You have some townies that are kind of like on the good side. You know, they're trying to help them. But you have a couple that are pretty bad and... Like, the big main guy, the the main bad guy, he's, I like his character. He's been in a bunch of films, and uh, he's the main antagonist. You think of a Bigfoot movie, you think Bigfoot's going to be the antagonist? No. Uh, this Bigfoot movie, uh, Bigfoot's in it for like a couple minutes here and there. 
Um, you do get a couple cool kills with him, but other than that, it's mostly all humans killing humans, pretty much. Which it actually plays well, because I like how they play the story. It's kind of a neat tale where it's like a crazed town. Um, they kind of call it like a Wicker Man meets a Bigfoot movie, where the brothers who are originally from the town bring other people in. So, and allows other people supposedly to leave. But again, they don't really explain that as much with the whole picking up, getting this weird green card from a lottery that you're allowed to leave, or are you fed to the Bigfoot? We don't know. But we can get a little bit of gist of it. So they say if they, they kill a certain amount of people, we get cards and then we can leave. I don't know. That was just really odd with that. But again, I did like this movie. I did like the storyline. Uh, the two brothers were very bickering. Uh, one of the brothers is played by uh, Sean... Roberts. He was in Resident Evil Afterlife. And um, one of the other girls was from the movie The Town. So you got some big names in here. And <clears throat> the two brothers bickering all the time. That's what they do. Brothers bicker. And they fight. Uh, one just had enough. So you got a lot of that going on. But once things start rolling, <laughs> um, one guy just completely fucks up all the time. <laughs> and his fuck-ups actually save his life a couple times. So yeah. Uh, also too is... Um, there's something in the mid-credits of the movie. I'm not going to say what, because it's going to ruin it, but if you do decide to pick this up and watch it, go through some of the credits, there's something in the middle of the credits that explains a little bit more and could leave maybe a sequel. I'll be kind of neat for a sequel to this. Maybe answer some unanswered questions and uh, go from there. All right, for this, you have some special features. There is a <clears throat> auto-commentary by writer director uh brayden croft there is um trailers there are uh was a, a behind the scenes featurette uh the bigfoot is practical it's pretty much a dude in a suit but again you don't see much of him but you do at the end you get to see what bigfoot looks like and i thought that was pretty neat how they did bigfoot the way he's like this big um hairy dude <laughs> i don't know he's big and pretty much i like this gist of how they capture people and how they feed them to the gods so yeah i definitely recommend checking out feed the gods again if you're into like a huge you know bigfoot does all the killings bigfoot's all over the place uh you probably get a little disappointed because that doesn't happen as much but you do get a cool story and you do have a cool bigfoot movie so i definitely recommend checking out feed of the feed the gods not there's no nudity, a uh, little bit of gore here and there, but cool story. So yeah, guys, check out Feed the Gods. Uh, again, thanks very much for watching. Stay tuned for more horror, guys. Later. Peace.